So recently, while I was coding a project of mine, I learned how to add custom death messages to the game. And I realized that while the process is actually pretty easy and straightforward, it's a little bit unintuitive, and I haven't seen many other people online explaining exactly how to do it. I kind of just played around with it and discovered it myself, so I figured I would make this tutorial so that anyone who wants to do it for themselves can maybe find it a little bit easier. So in front of me, with these two command blocks, I have created a little mock-up uh, black hole of sorts. The first block just summons some particles, and the second block actually searches for players in that position and then runs the damage command on them, so it actually gives them 10 points of damage, which is half of the player's health. If I go into survival mode and actually walk into this, I'll start taking damage, and there we go, I died. And you can look at the death screen and see that the death message is very, very boring. It just says, Kanye died, and that is what I am aiming to fix in this video. I want to be able to walk into this thing and have it display a death message that's, like, interesting and different from what the vanilla game provides. Now in order to accomplish this, there are two things we need to do. We need to make a data pack and a resource pack. Which yes, this does require a resource pack, but as you'll see in a minute, the resource pack doesn't actually erase anything from the vanilla game. It is entirely a newly added thing that you can add yourself. So step one is the data pack portion. I've just created a new data pack. I have data pack.mc meta. If I go into data, I'm just gonna add a new namespace and I can use any namespace I want for this part. Tutorial, there we go. And under your namespace, you're gonna add a new folder called damage underscore type. And then inside this damage type folder, you're going to add your JSON file. So you can name it whatever you want the damage to be called. Since I'm making the example sort of a black hole, I'm going to call this damage type space warping, because for anyone who knows a little bit about physics, black holes can damage you if they're really, really small and you can be stretched apart by the warping of space. Okay, so here we are inside the file. I'm just going to create an object. There's really only three fields we need to add. The first one is going to be death message type, and we want to make that default. There's a couple other death message types you can use as well, but generally if you're adding your own, default is pretty much the way to go. The other ones are a little bit more specialized and less customizable. So the next field we're going to add is message ID. And this can be pretty much any string you want. I am just going to call it warping, and it's important that I remember this because I'm going to be using it later when we make the resource pack. And then the third and final field is going to be exhaustion. Now exhaustion is just a number that is related to the amount of hunger that gets removed whenever you take damage. For most damage types in the game, it's something around 0.1, so I'll just leave it at that, but you can set it to whatever you like. Oh, and there is one more field actually that I had forgotten about. We need to add scaling. And this scaling field basically controls whether or not the damage scales with difficulty, which doesn't really make any sense for custom damage types because the only way to apply damage with custom types is using commands. And if you use commands, then you always specify the exact amount of damage. So since there's really no use for this scaling field at all, we basically just want to set it to never because that will remove the scaling mechanic entirely, make it a little bit more internally efficient, which is fine because it's never used anyway. Now there is one final optional field called effects, and here on the wiki, these are the possible values for effects. Now what these do is basically just make it so that the damage sounds differently when you take damage. Since I wanna just leave it at the default value, I'm just not gonna use this field at all. And there we go, that's all there is to it when it comes to adding a new custom damage type. So that's it for the data pack side, and the next step is to make the resource pack. I'm in my Minecraft resource packs folder, and I've just created a new pack. Uh, I've got acid Assets and pack.mc meta. I'm going to go into assets, and this time for the namespace, I can't create my own. I have to use the Minecraft namespace because I'm actually going to be editing something about one of the vanilla Minecraft files. Under the Minecraft namespace, I want to create a new folder and call it lang, L A N G. And then under this folder, I'm going to create my file and I'm going to call it en underscore us dot json. Now I'm doing it this way because I use American English for my language, but if you use another language besides American English, then you'll want to make this file named according to your language. And there are quite a few different languages, so I will leave a link to the wiki page down below where you can actually go and find your own language if you're not using American English. But if you are using American English, then just go ahead and set it to en underscore us. Now, okay, inside this file, what we want to do is just create an object again. And the nice thing about language files is that you don't actually have to create the entire language file from scratch. This will not rewrite the existing language file. They kind of work like tags in that anything that you add to this file will just be tacked on to the existing ENUS language. So you're not actually deleting the language, which is really nice and I'm glad they programmed it that way. So inside this language folder, what I'm going to add is a field called death 
dot attack dot and then from here I have to remember something from the data pack. Here in my damage type file, if you remember, I set message ID to warping. So that's what I needed to remember. And if I go back into this language file, I'm going to make it death dot attack dot warping. And what I'm going to put in this field is the death message that I want to display whenever you die from a warping attack. So the death message might look something like players, player's body folded in on itself, keeping with the whole black hole theme. However, this isn't quite right just yet. First of all, there's an apostrophe, which I want to put a backslash before it to prevent this file from breaking. And also, if I leave it like this, well, the death message will always say the word player. I want to actually make it say the player's name. And the really weird way you do that is you just type percent one dollar sign s. And then when this death message gets called, the name of the player will be pasted right here in place of this percent one dollar sign s. Okay, so that looks pretty good. But before we're done, there's one more thing we want to add. I'm going to start by adding the same thing, death dot attack dot warping, and this time I'm going to make it dot player. And we want to add this second field, because sometimes the game calls a death message in the context of you being killed by a player. Now I know that doesn't really make much sense because this is controlled by a command, so you can never be killed by a player in this way, but the game will call this second field if you die to this damage type, but you were recently attacked by a player or any other entity. It doesn't even have to be a player, they just make it player in the file for some reason. It's very similar to how if you die in a fire, but you were recently attacked by a zombie, it'll say player was burned up while fighting zombie or something like that. So we want to make a death message along those lines as well so that the game has something else to call. So I've copied the same death message over and this time I want to add a little bit on the end uh, and I'll just say while fighting and then the second player will be percent two dollar sign s. From a technical standpoint, these weird symbols basically are just things for the game to replace when it's provided with a context of multiple names, right? So in this first death message, it's provided with the context of your name, and that name gets replaced here. In the second death message, it has two names, and the first name gets replaced on this one that has a one in it, the second name gets replaced on this one that has a two in it. The first name is the entity that died, and the second name is the entity that was attacking that entity while it died. Okay, and that's about all there is to it. So from here, all I have to do is start by reloading my resource packs. So I'm going to hold down F3 and press T. And there we go, my resource packs have been reloaded. And then the next thing to do is to go into Options and then click Resource Packs and enable the resource pack, which I've just done. And finally, from the data pack side, I have to restart the server. And yeah, I know you're probably screaming at your screen, why don't you just type slash reload? Well, for whatever reason, much like world gen files, damage type files cannot be reloaded with slash reload. You have to restart the entire server in order to get it to take effect. So I will just go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, I'm back on the server after a restart, and now the only thing left to do in the world is to actually change this damage command so it's applying the new damage type that I just added. I've said damage at s10 and then next I can specify the damage type. So if I scroll through these suggestions you'll actually see that I actually have tutorial space warping as an option. So I can just press tab on that and now if I turn this on and then go into survival mode I can walk into this area start getting damaged and you'll see the new custom death message worked properly. It says Conyer's body folded in on itself. Now like I said earlier this death message did not replace any existing death messages. It's a brand new death message that I added to the game using this combination of data pack and resource pack. And if you remember, I actually put two different death messages into the game, so I'll show you how the second one works. If I summon a husk and then let it attack me, there we go, it's attacked me, and now if I die to this, it'll say Conyer's body folded in on itself while fighting husk. And that is how you add new death messages. You're loud, go away. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please leave a comment, I always appreciate that. And I will see you all later. Thank you for watching, my dudes.